A quick scroll through a social media page or channel is relatively harmless, but these simple tools are manifesting themselves as a larger problem for online users. A graduate in social science, Claudia shares her experience about a former colleague. This went on for like a year, I think. Um, I think after about three to four months, the police were like, we've traced the cause and it's coming from the office where I did work experience, which is where he works. And I was like, no, no, that can't be. Claudia's story is not so rare. Many who have encountered stalking behavior believe that media magnifies the issue by romanticizing it. Head of operations for a PR company, Holly Hooten, shares her perspective on its effects. You know, I've been roofied before. Um, I've been um, harassed and stalked. And that huge, like, obsessive, big, grand gesture romanticism that has developed around really unhealthy obsess obsessions with other people, male or female, has like concerns me. The safety of one's home is dissolving as individuals infiltrate their victims' lives through the digital realm. Ignoring the issue no longer works, and with little change to public attitude, many are left with memorable trauma. I mean, how would you feel if your phone was like ringing like non-stop? And they were just like, just ignore it, just turn your phone off. And I was like, yeah, but it just sucks to see like 12 missed calls from this unknown person. And I don't know who it is. And it's just like, you just wanna like, please stop doing this to me. <laughs>